Derek Diedrichson. Welcome to an edition of Deke's Dungeon Life Basement, complete with not so great lighting. What I want to show you guys today is a simple DIY redneck, if you will, maybe prepper style. Pretty cool, pretty fun. Um, coffee can candle. Works great in emergencies, uh, camping, or just like I said, for the fun of it. This was a project I did with the kids. Simply took a coffee can, cut a slit in it in the bottom, then with some aviation snips, made it a perpendicular cut, like a plus sign, and then folded those triangular tabs that are sharp, be careful, inward. That becomes kind of the teeth or grip for the candle that you force through the bottom. You can hold it like this as well, circus mallet style. So basically you feed this candle through. This is when I got at Ikea. It's like about 20 cents a pop when you do the math per box. They last pretty long. I like them. Um, I took a scrap of wire, had a spool of that, punched two holes through here. You know, you could do that with a drill or with a nail and a hammer, simple as that. Being careful not to bend the crud of the can. And uh, you have this handy dandy little, you know, holder here to prevent your hands from getting burned. Burned, I should say. One slit, this thing gets pretty, pretty hot. So you're going to be thankful you have this little holder here. I was contemplating, even kind of for the sake of, you know, two-in-one for a joke, laying a couple strips of bacon over the top of the coffee can. It probably would cook them after a while. It gets very hot. But what happens here is the coffee can has its you know, interior shiny metal, its reflective properties. Um, the direction of opening of the can uh, and the, you know, the metal in the can amplifies the light of the candle within and directs it in one focus beam as opposed to just holding a candle, which would blow out easily as well. This can protects it as a windbreak you know, when you're walking around uh, Ichabod Crane style through the woods, <laughs> Scooby-Doo style. And I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for those meddling kids. So it's a fun little project, very simple. As for painting it, I kept the lid, the plastic one of the coffee cans, slapped it on the top, then spray painted this to get this nice clean edge right here and to prevent the spray paint from getting inside and ruining, again, the reflective properties of this little can here. So that's pretty much all there is to it. You can mess around with different size cans, uh, Votus perhaps, perhaps. As the candle starts burning down, which takes quite a while, just keep feeding it up through the hole and you're at GTG good to go. Got this idea originally from, uh, I saw it on Lloyd Kahn's blog, Lloyd Kahn, K-A-H-N.com. He is the author of the fantastic book, Tiny Homes. Hopefully you can see this simple shelter. Uh, one of my cabins is in here as well. Love this book. And my book, by the way, Humble Homes, Simple Shacks, which came out a couple of years ago. Um, a lot of DIY, simple shelter building techniques and concepts. All right. So here you go. Once again, let me actually shut the light off a sec as I dip off the screen. Works pretty well, especially once the candle gets uh, up to speed. Thank you guys for watching. If you can even see me anymore, that might be doing you a favor. I'm Derek Edrickson. I'll see you later.